Welcome back. It's another episode of ET Interviews. We are here today with our boy Jay Miller. What up, man? He's a recording artist. You can find him everywhere. Check the links in the description. He's got a lot of great shit. You could also find him at a show near you. He does be doing those a lot. Factual. So, so make sure you tap in with our boy. Everything will be in the description. Also, while I got your attention, we are on Patreon now. If you do want to enjoy some exclusive content, some shit that just can't be other places. How much does it cost a month? $4. So $4. Go, go support your boys if you really want to. Um, we're going to just keep adding shit to there. might even be a show entirely on there. So just pay attention, you know, show some love, like the video, check out our boy Jay Miller. you get some behind the scenes. you get some motherfucking exclusive bong rips, you know, pain oh, and suffering from... Us too. Just yeah. way too big mm. of bong rips. So. Way too big. I took one today, bro. Literally couldn't see. Really? Like, <laughs> like bro, yeah. I ripped it. It was yellow, and I didn't know till I saw the video. And I had to, I had to brace for impact. Like I was holding. The shit. <laughs> yeah, yeah, <laughs> I yeah, was yeah, like, yeah. whoa. Yeah. <laughs> and then I literally, I was having a whole mental breakdown. I was like, man, I'm too high for this. Yeah, I be, man, I be feeling that way all the time. Yeah, I be get, I be, uh, bro, because I. Got the kids and shit, so we'd be going to the bathroom to smoke and shit, Robbie, in there with the bong. You got yeah. kids? Uh, no, my girl do. Oh, okay, yeah. okay. We'd be in there taking hits off the bong, bro. I'd be like having to grasp the counter, bro. Yeah. Like, bro I lose consciousness. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's like, damn. Yeah. I may pass yeah. out. Facts. Hell no, but the first time we seen you, bro, was at Art Tribal Studios. Yep. You'd be yep. going there a lot? Yeah, so I'd be going there. Uh, shout out to Ill Chris. Shout out to all of them, bro. Yeah, Kobe, he'd be working up there. So uh, yeah. Kobe's been the homie for a while. I met Kobe through Mikey over there. But uh, yeah, yeah, that's that's a cool spot, bro. They got they, you know what I mean. They got designer clothing there. It's a clothing shop. It's a cool place to record. They got some good engineers and shit there. Yeah, oh, yeah. God, there's I definitely know. a vibe over there. Yeah, man, they're for the culture for sure. And I was just every about time to say I go that. over there, I meet new people. Yeah, and those people for the next three weeks, they're commenting on our Instagram facts. posts. Yeah, they're man, just showing yeah. support. Yeah, facts. Yeah, support a group of people. Make sure y'all go check out Arch Rival Studio. Absolutely, absolutely. Fire, bro. Do you get a lot of uh, hometown love? With yeah, the music. yeah, man, for sure. You know what I mean? Uh, mostly, I mean, uh, when I look at my Spotify, I mean, because I got the artists. Yeah, Spotify, the analytics. Yeah, you know shit. what I mean? So it's like most of my most of my listens come from Seattle and shit. I got, oh, yeah. man, Canada, they be streaming my shit too. I don't know. Hell yeah. But, uh, yeah, but uh, most of them come from Seattle, yeah. yeah. Oh, shout out the Canadians, man. Yeah, fact. You think it's the French kind? Uh, right, the yeah, yeah, yeah. The George St. Pierre kind? Yeah. <laughs> 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 I don't even think I can say that, bro. St. <laughs> Pierre. St. Pierre? St. Pierre. St. Pierre. On God. Yeah. On God. Yeah. That, 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 <laughs> a French word. Yeah. <laughs> That's fucking dope. So how long have you been going to Arch Rival then? Not very long. I don't think they've even been. They've been up and running for, what, six months? Yeah, yeah, Got yeah. It. It's only been a few I've months. only been one time, and that was the time I met you. Yeah, yeah. So I've been there a couple times. I've laid a couple things down there. But uh, not for very long, man. I know a lot of the people who go there. I've right. known them for a while. But uh, yeah, I don't know. They got a lot of it's a lot of hype over there and shit right now. Hopefully, they keep that ball rolling. You know? Right. Uh, yeah, and they call they do a, they do a good job about uh, I mean, staying staying relevant on the internet. There, you know, what yeah. I mean? like their their uh, their content and shit they be put on the internet and shit. So you know yeah, they're I mean? getting to have a really good internet presence. Yeah, you know? facts. Like the Instagrams and like the whole duck shit. Bro. Yeah, bro. Yeah. Yeah. Just going so on, bro. They're you smart. Do you have the tattoo, bro? Yes, bro. Wait, I, I did not see that, yeah, bro. I seen it on code. I don't know if dude had it before or what. Bro. It was a flock of ducks on the bro. side. That's <laughs> crazy. That's Duck gang, yeah. bro. You know he probably did, and then Kobe saw him and was like, bro. right, fat, oh. fat. <laughs> no, bro. It was it's a real flock shit. Yeah. <laughs> when I pulled up there, I honestly thought you were working in there. That's like how yeah. in touched it looked like you were with okay. that. Yeah, I, I think I was faded, bro. So what? It was. Uh, <laughs> and I think I was. Faded, we was drinking bro. and shit there, right? Where? We, uh, what? I know we were. It was late at night, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah. I don't know if it was. I don't know. They had a. Bu uh, there was one time I was. Well, I don't think it was the time I met you guys, but I, mean, I was faded anyway. Probably. Is that like but. your home <laughs> studio now? Is that where you be going to mm, lay down the most? Nah, I mean, uh, so my engineer uh, that I. The, I mean, my favorite engineer. I, I fuck with Sendai, Sendai Mike. You just either Sendai Mike. I don't know if you guys know who that is. I'm not yeah, good. he's from like the industrial district and shit. From oh, shit. It's where his studio's based out of. But I fuck with him, and then my other engineer that I go to, his name's No Man. So he just moved there. To our rival, so it probably it'll probably be a place that I frequent a lot more. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, than other studios. But and I've seen the, at least for your YouTube channel, it there was only or maybe not YouTube channel, but on Apple Music, there's only like six or eight songs on there. It's okay. the it's the EP. Yeah, the EP the is there. EP. Yeah, so I dropped another EP. It was a collab EP. Uh, I think that dropped in like late May. 
and okay. uh, that was I dropped that with somebody, but uh, it only showed, I think that only got posted on his shit. I don't know how uh, Distro okay. Kid fucked that up. Right. Was that uh, Jay Fitty? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I yeah. seen some of those songs. Okay. I was really fucking yeah. with the space. Cool. <laughs> yeah. 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 So working with Jay Fitty, are, oh. are there any other fucking um, artists that you're gonna have coming out with you soon? Oh yeah. So Kobe, I got Kobe on a couple tracks. I don't know what Kobe's going by musically or whatever right, right now, but I yeah. mean Kobe's filthy with it. I mean I'm a frequent collaborator with Mikey over there, Gifty Youngsters. Uh, oh, yeah. I mean I've definitely uh, yeah. got more shit coming with him. We're talking about a project and stuff right now. Uh, That'd be yeah. but, uh, crazy on the intro. To, uh, yeah, MVP. facts, man. Shamel, yeah, he went nuts. Shamel went nuts. I, yeah, you say you guys seen the video? The video is filthy. I haven't should, seen yeah, it. Should that. Uh, yeah, but uh, I mean I got my homeboy Rob. Uh, I think he's based out. He's based out of Tacoma here in Tacoma. Yeah, but we were recording. There. You guys know Jay Out Outhouse Studios? I haven't. Oh, okay. Yeah, we be uh, we tapped in there a couple a couple times this last month. So I got some shit coming out with him. But uh, yeah, man, I'm just uh, I'm making a lot of music right now. You know what I mean? <laughs> but I think uh, after I I, I, I want to get this shit done with Mikey and then probably just start dropping some solo shit. So so y'all are about to do a project like just you two together? Uh yeah, I think it's it's coming like pretty organically and shit. Yeah. Right I think we're just making songs right now, you know what I mean. But I think it's something that'll turn into a pro. You know, it'll turn into something. I just when when me and him make music, it's always good. So. Right. That you one joint I mean? that uh, you and Kobe got that that shit sounded nice. Oh, you seen the snippet on the thing? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Kobe killed that hook, bro. Yeah. Well, can, uh do you guys have a release date on that yet? Or nah. So uh, we recorded that song actually. So the crazy thing is, uh, uh, an engineer was coming there to interview. And so like we he we me and Kobe went in there, we laid down that song. It was he it was for free. It was that was like his test Yeah, that was like his testing or whatever. But like he did that shit, we had like an hour. So I mean the mix is good, you know what I mean, or whatever, mm -hmm. but there's some shit we gotta go back and touch up. Right. Just cause it was done in an hour, you know what I mean? Right, right, right. But uh no, I, I wanted I do wanna drop that song though. I do, I do fuck with that song. So are, are you fucking with the new engineer that they had coming in? Yeah, so that was that was the the engineer. So he used to work up at New Wave, uh, okay. you know, I, I, I yeah, for the that, north. Yeah. yeah, so that's No Man. So that yeah. was actually him, the dude that I. Oh, with. the guy you oh, were just okay. talking yeah, about. Yeah, yep, yep, yep. Yeah, I just pulled up there one day. He was in there. I was confused, but <laughs> <laughs> you were like, yeah, I know you, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> to you, what is what like? How do you pick what songs are gonna go on the project? Because I, I imagine you're making more than six, and then just deciding yeah. from there. Yeah. Well, I don't know, man. Like. uh is there kind of like a flow you like to keep? Yeah, I so I, it's crazy. Uh, like it, the project just comes together as I make music most of the time. Like I don't even. I mean, with this shit me and Mikey got going, uh, I think we 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 we're, we're planning this a little better than I usually. Yeah, strategically type shit. But it's like with like with the footwork EP, even with like the Space Force shit. Uh, it's just all just it's just kind of happened, bro. It's right. like I record two or three songs, and then it just all it just, all just it, if it feels right, man. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? Then I like. I don't know, but I I know that uh, with footwork, I think I had like, I record. I was just straight recording. Well, it was like six or seven months I didn't drop anything. I was just recording, mm -hmm. and I had like three different fucking release dates for that shit. But uh, I had like way more songs that was on there, and I think it was I think it was gonna be an album, but uh, uh, cut it down to six songs and named it an EP. I don't know. Yeah, I think uh, when I just I don't know. I'll have like nine songs together. You know what I mean? And and, and like uh. uh some of them, I don't know. I, I, I listen to them, and some of them might sound better as singles. Some of them might sound better. There's a lot of cuts that I have, you know what I mean, that, like, wouldn't sound as... Like, there's a lot of cuts that are made to be, like, middle of the album right. cuts, right, you know right, what right. I mean, that wouldn't, like, shine if there were singles and shit, you know what I mean? So you right. got to hear those out and shit. But mostly, man, it just happens organically. But I never understand how they pick singles, like... Because as yeah. an artist, you have to be, like, selfish in a way, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. To feel like all my shit is the shit. Yeah. Because that way, when you give it to the people... It's theirs now, you know. Right, and you can be backed away from it. So I, I always felt like it's got to be hard to depict which ones stand out in the most to you. Yeah, no facts. Well, and that's like uh, to footwork. I have a song called Sixty Four Bars and Running, and uh, that was the single to that project. But that's not what there was a song called Nonsense that I, I think Nonsense was what I wanted to be the single as. But like everybody was to everybody around me was telling me I just didn't have the ear for it. I guess but they were telling me I need to drop Sixty Four Bars and Running, and that turns out to be like my most streamed song. Right, that, so, that's yeah. why it was hard too. I, fuck with I appreciate that. it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How important is listening to the people around you in this game? Listening to it's it's really important to listen to the right people, bro. You right, know what I right, mean? Right, right. And it's because at the end of the day, like I am an artist and I'm gonna create what I want to create, but it's like I'm giving this to the people, though. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So it's like yeah, you kind of gotta go by selfish yeah. when you make it, selfless when you put it out. Right, right, right. Because you know, like there'll be times where like uh, 
I'll have friends who like don't make music or whatever, like slide to the studio or whatever, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? And like create some type of, you know what I mean? You get people trying to tell you, know, you get like defensive as an artist, like don't tell me how to create, you know what I mean? Yeah, but yeah, in reality, yeah. like, I don't know, there's a lot of people who aren't musicians, but like I respect their musical opinion, you know what I mean? Absolutely. So you don't even have to make music, but to for me to like respect or listen to your opinion but there's a lot of motherfuckers out there that you know what i mean I just love it yeah talk. for sure yeah, yeah for sure there's a lot there's a lot of people out there who i don't know like i i've had songs that uh certain people didn't like or whatever but it's just like i didn't you know what i mean i knew yeah. that they were hard you know what i mean right. not everybody's gonna like everything. yeah that's a fact right you know what i mean but at the same time i try to keep in mind that like i am giving this like to you know what people. i mean whether whether you like music or not whether you make music or not you know what i mean like i'm give, like this is i'm giving this to be judged by you you know what i mean right. that type of shit so yeah. how often are you like looking at the comments and the and all the, the time, bro. Really? Yeah, bro, that's unhealthy, yeah. bro. I know. Don't be yeah, doing yeah, that yeah, shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Go yeah. fuck yourself all the time. Over, I bro. can't help it, bro. I'm petty too, bro. Yeah. I be like, yeah. you be texting back on it. Man, I DM. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. What I'm was? Mad. What do you think I'm was the? Uh, all over. What was the <laughs> funniest comment you think you've gotten that like made you laugh but kind of pissed you off? Oh man, I don't know if I want to bring it up. The pine cone. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? Yeah, the pine cone. So I have a song. This is this guy. Uh, he got a bar on this song talking about uh, something about time zone. My third eye got it shaped like a pine cone or something. I, I don't know. That bar just hit. We were yeah. performing that shit live, and this shit. So I forget who it was, man. But somebody their live video got posted to me, bro. I, I don't know. I just screamed that shit, bro. I was doing his ad libs. <laughs> I just screamed the word pine cone. Bro. Like, pine I don't know who went through it, found that shit. <laughs> But somebody found that shit. It got turned into a meme and shit. <laughs> oh, man. that was awesome, bro. Yeah, I was just hiring. His, his verse was after mine, so I was just hiring. You know what I mean? I had living in shit. Of course, bro. Yeah. Getting the energy lit. Yeah. You know what they say? All publicity is good publicity. Yeah, yeah. Facts. Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm not. Yeah, for sure. 100. Yeah. My whole, you know, what I mean, I do like uh, my promo videos. I did for footwork and shit, bro. It's all humor based, bro. I'm not right. afraid to laugh uh, at yeah. myself. Yeah. Bro. <laughs> yeah. I mean, that once you laugh at yourself, bro, nobody has any ammunition. Yeah, yeah. You know I mean, I take my music seriously, bro. But anything else, bro? Of I course, just, got to be. Yeah, <laughs> you know what I'm saying. Anything, I, anything else, I, I don't, I, bro. I don't take anything serious except for my music. So when you were growing up, was it mom and dad in the same house? Yeah. So my parents were on drugs and shit. You know what I mean? I so, feel you. So Mine I, too. It was it was off and on. So it's like I lived with the, in the, with the state for a little bit, on and off, foster care type shit. Uh, they would give me bad, lost me that all that type of shit. But uh, tour. I think uh, my parents got divorced when I was like nine. Mm -hmm. I think I lived with my pops for a while. I, my mom kind of fucked off. But I lived with my pops for a while. But I've really been on my own out here since I was fifteen. Okay. Just working and shit. Yeah. Yep. What was the um, biggest struggle when you first got out on your own? Like, trying to figure it out at... Because 15 is young, you know? Yeah. Well, so, like, a struggle for me, man, like, I remember up until I was an adult, or I mean, when I consider myself an adult, 15, 16, when I left home, like, all I'd ever... Like, everybody who had money and everybody who was successful, like, sold dope and shit. Right. You know yeah. what I mean? Like, I ain't yeah. never seen nobody get up and go to work and make hella money and make... You know what I mean? And, like, right. drive nice cars. Everybody I knew who drove who drove nice cars, who had bitches, she like, you know what I mean? Like, all sold exactly. dope. You know what I mean? So it's like I walked into, like, adulthood or what I thought was adulthood, like, with just some... You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. With, like, a crazy fucked up... It was just a fucked up... Way to view life, you know yeah. what I mean? Yeah, yeah. But I mean, I've overcame that now. You know what I mean? So we, yeah. we chilling, doing everything's legal. You know what right? I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, it's good to get that out of the way early too. Yeah, no fact. If you get caught up early, it's, it's, it's a not good as character bad. building. I yeah. feel like you right, know, right, you didn't right, live right. till someone's tried to rob you. Yeah, fact. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think. Do you think um, uh, people like in people's environments is a big play on who they become, or do you think it is evil easily overcome? Uh I mean, I don't know, man. Like, for sure, yeah, 100%. 100%. It has a huge play, you know what I mean? And that's, like, a lot of times, uh, especially in music, you know what I mean? Like, right. a lot of, a lot of times, hey, there's a lot of people out here talking about, oh, you know, I don't want to hear killing or in, their, in music, you know what I mean, killing or robbing or whatever. But that, a lot of times, like, that's what's a going reflection on. of their reality type shit, you know mm -hmm. what I mean? Like, uh, I'm going to rap about what's going on in my life. If that's exactly. what's going on in my life, that's what I'm going to talk about. Right. You know what I mean? But, yeah, I mean, for sure, I, th I think... Uh, I think there's a healthy balance between understanding that, you know what I mean, uh, there will always, you know what I mean, like how, how, how you were raised will always, you know, will always affect you the rest of your life, but like, you can't use that shit as an excuse though. You know right. I mean? Yeah. That's a fact. Um, I noticed on, uh, on a bunch of pictures of you, you have a bunch of tattoos. I was wondering <laughs> what the first one was and which one has the most meaning to you. The first one was this yin yang. 
right here, bro. Uh, yeah, honest, I got a two right there, same spot. So. Honest to God, I, don't, I mean, I don't not fuck with it, bro. But I always wanted the tattoo. Yeah, man. I was like fifteen. <laughs> you know what I mean, I just wanted to. Uh, I got my father's initials right here. So right here, it's uh, J R M. Those are probably the most meaningful. That one, and uh, I have like a, his father in Japanese with the. Yeah, he died and shit underneath. So uh-huh. those two ones, yeah, 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 for did, sure. Did oh, I got three of them for my father. This one too. This is like his favorite Pearl Jam song. Oh, spin that's the, the, yeah, spin the black circle. So the ones for my dad, probably. Yeah. Your pops was I a big influence for you. Yeah, for sure. That's where I got my love in music, bro. Yeah. My what dad was, was he listening to? So my dad listened. So I, bro, as a kid, I was put on the stuff. So I listened to like a lot of '67. I listened to a lot of Fleetwood Mac, bro. I listened to a lot of like the Black Crow, Steve Miller band. Yeah, I know, you know Steve I mean? Miller. Yeah, is, man. Yeah. And then I, you get to like the '70s. I listened to like my dad showed me a lot of. I mean, I, I mean, Ozzy wasn't the '70s, but like uh, Led Zeppelin. You know what I mean? Leonard yeah. Skinner type shit. I listened to a lot of growing up. I listened to like a lot of '80s hair metal, bro. I used to fuck with Def Leppard as a kid. Yeah, you know yeah. I mean? yeah, yeah. But uh, I fucked with Motley Crue as a kid. Yeah, I, I fuck with Motley Crue, bro, man. To this yeah. Day. So it's like growing up, I I, I listened to like a lot of uh, my as as a kid. My dad showed me like uh, a lot of different types of music. But I I used to play the drum. I still play the drums. You know what I mean? But mm-hmm. I played in a couple different punk rock bands and shit like that too. Have you so. done any tracks over some punk type beats? I have back in the day, bro. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? But it's I don't know. I I. I don't like to mix the two anymore. You know what right. I mean? I think uh, a couple people have tried that shit. You know, I think like Lil Wayne did that with Rebirth type shit. You know what I mean? Right. Rapping over rock type shit. You know what I mean? Right. But uh, I don't know. I think like uh, like punk rock, when it comes to anything other than hip hop, is like, it's like punk rock is like my next fit. You know what I mean? Uh, like, yeah. And I feel like there's like a lot of elements in like the, the, uh, like the culture of punk rock. There's a yeah. lot of elements of that in hip hop too. Right? Of you course. I mean? Yeah. Like trying to be that, that, yeah, guy right, stage, and just a rebellion type shit, you know what yeah. I mean? All that type of shit, they go hand in hand. But, like, I like, when I do them, I like to keep them separate. When, when did you make the transition into hip-hop? Because you said you were, like, playing drums and shit. Yeah, yeah. So, like, when I was eight years old, the Carter Three came out. And, yeah. You know what I mean? And that was, like, Lil Wayne's the GOAT to me, bro. That's my GOAT. Like, right. That's his yeah, favorite, right? Yeah, there we go, yeah. So, like, and I remember that being, like, the biggest thing in the fucking world when that shit dropped, bro. Yeah. You know what I mean? And, and that was, like, the first CD I ever bought myself. And, uh, you had the Carter Four on Carter CD, four. yeah. So that that was like where my like my my love for hip hop came. You know what I mean? Was yeah. was uh, like 2008 when I was like eight years old. That was like when I, you know, <laughs> I, I started to like look for my own music type shit. You know what right. I mean? But uh, was it on the Walkman? You remember the Walkman? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Facts. It, it absolutely was. <laughs> yeah, that's 100. Yes, bro. Yeah, bro. With the fucking stupid head. Yeah, bro. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. I listen to that shit, shit on the walk around with yeah, shit in your hand. Bro, yeah. no, I used to put it in the hoodie pocket. You just put that uh-huh. shit in the hoodie pocket. Bro, I used to, bro and I used to, on the bus, bro, on the school bus every day, bro, pull out the Game Boy and shit. Yes, yeah, bro. Yeah, yeah, the Game fact. Boy Advance was 50, bro. Yeah. Are you a gamer? I used to be, bro. Not much. I, not much, I just don't have the time anymore, bro. Right. You know what I mean? And when I do, it's like, yeah, 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 yeah. facts. Yeah, I love first person shooters. You know, but I like, or I used to like RPGs, all that bro, shit. Bro, I love yeah. RPGs. Yeah. What's your favorite one? I mean,. Uh, Skyrim or Red Dead 2, bro. I think Red Dead 2 was Red really Dead good. 2 was yeah. great. Yeah. Skyrim was huge back in the day. Bro, too, I bro. put so many hours into that game. Bro, I, I feel that, but with Elden Ring, that game that just okay. came out, yeah. I put fucking... Yeah. Deck, it felt forever in that game. Did you guys play, did you guys play Destiny? Yes. Uh, yeah. did, one bro. and two. One and two? I yeah, fucked The first them. one, that was like the only other game other than Skyrim that I put that's just bro, insane amount of hours into. Right? It. I used yeah. to like to just go into the multiplayer and once you got all the good shit, and then just... Bam! Take you guys still play up. games? Oh yeah. You guys fuck with the new Halo? More. Yes, bro. Yeah, Halo bro. Five. Yeah, yes, that's bro. that. That's what got me into you know what I mean. Earlier in the year when that yeah. shit when the beta first dropped and shit, bro, I was playing games for. Bro, a while. I was it, playing that shit for a while. It felt like the old ones though. Like, yeah, it yeah, did, facts. It, it, it like the. BR I wish I had more maps, it. but yeah. yeah. Yeah, me too. And I, I, I played on PC. So like I plug in my controller and shit, it just feels like everybody else got the advantage on me sometimes. Yeah, bro. Bro. I just, <laughs> with the yeah, yeah. I be sucking ass, bro, when I'm yeah. playing Halo. I had to like uninstall it, bro. It was a sad day. Right, right. Yeah. right. The only I game I ever upset. really put like hella hours into is Black Ops Two, bro. I was that was a good game, bro. On that one. Yeah. yeah, is that your favorite Call of Duty? Oh yeah, for sure. I like MW2. Only one I ever went what, for like. What do you like? MW Two. Black Ops Two. MW Two though with the intervention, bro. Because I I used to be sniping hella back then. Bro, me too, bro. Bro, would you jump off the Top, try to. I used to try yeah, to do facts. trick shots and shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. facts. Yeah. For a longest time, bro. Rust, bro. Yes, with, with bro. the intervention, bro. That's all I need, bro. bro all day. I remember people like when your homies used to talk shit at school or something. We'd be like, all right, bro, one v one on Rust tonight. Yeah, bro. yeah, facts. One v one on Rust facts. tonight, bro. Every yeah. time you see him, I'm whooping that ass, yeah, bro. Facts, facts. That <laughs> shit used to get me so heated, bro. Yeah. So <la
Fe- bro, plenty of it, bro. <laughs> Yeah, bro, like, so I be playing sports games, too, yeah, right? Okay. You know what I mean? Like, sometimes I have to quit, like, a 2K game for my mental health. Like, yeah, like, in the middle, yeah, but I'll fucking lose my shit. Yeah. <laughs> That's yeah. fucking awesome. What other things you be doing uh, besides gaming uh, in your free time? What do you like to do? Man, I like Ride to horses? Just- <laughs> I mean, it's the summertime, man. I, mean, I have not been taking advantage of this summer, oh. bro, like I wanted to, man. But I, you know that. what I mean? I love to be outside. I love to be in the... I mean, honestly, I mean, I drop acid and shit, bro. You know oh, what I mean? Like, I like to drop acid I had and one go bad outside. Trip. I can't do it no more, but really? I do love it. I used to love it. Yeah. Fact. I like mushrooms now, though. They make me cry. <laughs> <laughs> in a good way, though. Oh, I, mean, fact, I just fact. get, like, so... I just, you get, like, everything I just turns... love everything. Yes, bro. It's yeah. so beautiful when you're on acid. Yeah, everything in the world. Yeah. I think, <laughs> I think the best time I ever had on a psychedelic bro was sitting on a riverbank for eight hours, just watching shit go by, being like, oh. Yeah, we did. I did acid uh, late last fall and went on that fucking thing at the fair. That was pretty gnarly. Yeah. I yeah. Puke, yeah. Like coming to the ground. I got a video of that shit. Yeah. I puke for sure. Oh, bro, it was nuts. It was pretty gnarly, yeah. <laughs> See, I can't even do that sober. That's my thing. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm a heights Facts. guy, bro. I can't, yeah. I can't do it. I, I don't yeah. be, I don't be like risking my life and shit. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> have, you got, have you been out on that fucking that, that little balcony they have at Arch Rivals? Yes, bro. yeah, bro. I don't like spooky, either, bro. bro. Yeah, yeah. Spooky. Kobe be trying to stand out there with me. I'm like, get the fuck out of here, bro. Yeah. I don't like one person at a time. Bro, I don't I'll like anybody. In the doorway. I yeah. want to yeah. go out there. Yeah. I need to have full direct contact with the exit. Right. You know what I'm saying? You cannot be in the way, bro. Because I don't care how close of friends we are, bro. I will fucking sock you. Yeah, head, bro. <laughs> well, you, like, you got like me. you can't step. You step to the right, you die, bro. That wood right there. Yeah. You don't want to step on that fucking wood. Fuck that, yeah. bro. Let me ask you this: tacos or burgers? <sighs> Depends. White people tacos or Mexican tacos? You know what I mean? That's up yeah. to you. At the yeah, end. I mean, yeah, the Mexican you? tacos beats burgers. Like from yeah, the truck? Weird. Yeah, from the truck. Yeah, yeah, got on the side of the, the shell truck, station, bro. bro. Yes, yeah, bro. Yeah. They Fact. always be hitting right yeah. there, bro. They got a taco bus over here that just never moves, bro. It's just a bus, and he's he's. Always ready to go. Do they got uh, is it memos, bro? Is yeah, it's called. They I got call it memos. memos. Yeah. Bro, the late night, bro. Yeah, the carne asada, yeah, fries, yeah, 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 bro. Facts, bro. Facts. bro. So many drunk fucking nights we've gone because oh we used God. to live a block away from it. So we bro, just I had my walk birthday party there. there. Bro. Really? Yeah, me and the homies used to fuck with that place. Bro. Yeah, bro. Yeah. I'm fucking with Mimos. I went bro. to I went to high school with a kid, and his parents owned the fucking uh, the Mimos next to the crib. So oh, okay. They get yeah. free food all the time, bro. Yeah, facts. Did you ever get uh, kicked out of school? <sighs> every every high school I went to. Really? Yeah. How many high schools did you go to? Four. Four of them? Yeah. Each, one for each year? Uh, yeah, I, I think, nah, I think I got, I went to two different high schools my freshman year. Yeah. Was it hard to keep the same group of friends, or did you all stay rock with each other pretty tight? None of my friends ever went to school. <laughs> yeah. 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 Uh-huh. yeah. So I, I've always hung around with older people, bro. You right. Know what I mean? And go. people who were older than me, because like my my struggles were different. Right. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? My issues were facing, I was facing were different, and I can only relate to people that were. You know. What right. I mean? You got that so old, I, older mindset. That's a fact. Yeah. Uh, yeah. For sure. People don't understand when you got shit that it's only on you. Yeah. You know, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. It, it's hard to rock with somebody who like isn't there. Yeah, I wouldn't facts. say it's hard to, but like it's, it's unrelatable. Right. Yeah. It's like mm-hmm. how I feel fifty year old men dating eighteen year olds feel. You know what I'm saying? Like, what you talking about, bro? Yeah, no, it's a fact. Viagra well, so when commercials? I was sixteen, bro, like no, nobody was fucking. Ever when I was sixteen, everybody was they were doing sixteen year old shit, bro. Yeah. I was doing real life shit. You know right. What I mean? so, so. Like I gotta eat today. <laughs> right. You know right. What right. I'm facts. Like I can't just be. So at school. what you doing after school? Going to get some money? What are you doing? Right. Right. <laughs> right, right yeah. <laughs> What what was the um, most absurd reason you got kicked out of school for, bro? <laughs> so this is when I I got sus- I got suspended for this and I just dropped out after this. Yeah. <laughs> but like, so I, this is crazy. <laughs> I don't never thought I'd talk about this, but for, uh, so this bitch Bella, bro. And I was I went to school. She's not a bitch. Shout out to Bella. But uh, <laughs> yeah, we can't say that anymore. <laughs> yeah, uh, bro. So we were having this debate in uh, at West Auburn High School, bro. It was the alternative school. And uh, about like what the hottest pepper of all time was. I thought it was the ghost pepper. She thought it was the Carolina Reaper or whatever. Whoever lost the bet had to eat that pepper somehow or whatever. Oh. You know what I mean? But I, I lost the bet and I'm thinking like, where the fuck you about to get a Carolina Reaper? Yeah. From, you stupid ass. You know what I mean? So it's like, it's like three weeks, bro. So it's like, it's open campus. So everybody would leave during lunch and go to this gas station across the street to fucking get high and shit. So I'm over there smoking weed at lunch and I see just a whole big ass group of crowd of people, bro, flooding over to the fucking, 
where's Jake at? On oh, Snapchat, you know what I mean? <laughs> Flooding over to the gas station. I'm like, what the fuck's going on? I'm about to get, I think I'm about to get jumped, bro. Yeah, That's what bro. I'm about, you know what I mean? Yeah. There's so I'm like hiding behind. I'm like tucked behind the gas station, like trying to peep what's going on. His Bella, bro. She got the peppers, bro. She ordered from Amazon. She I, was, yeah, yeah, bro. So she I said, had so, your number, bro. bro. Swear to God, bro. <laughs> swear to God. And so I seen people like touching this pepper and like licking their finger and losing their fucking minds, bro. You know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. So it's, but I so I ate the shit though, bro. It was too much pressure. Bro. Yeah, everyone. Yeah, you know bro. what I mean. But I had to go back to school, bro. And like it was just violent, bro. I just couldn't. You know what I mean? And it's like I'm sitting in the office just dying, bro. And it's like the front, the front. I'm always getting in trouble, so all the staffs mad at me and shit. And I'm like, bitch, like. You, it's okay to be mad at me, but it's not right now. Like, yeah. Right now, I'm hurting, bro. Yeah. Like, go get me some yeah. milk, bro. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> he said, I need the cart. Yeah, they're bro. like, yeah, exactly. Open that well, shit up. They're like, acting like it's a big deal. We're going to me more milk. I'm like, bitch, you don't even know what I'm feeling right now. Like, <laughs> be mad at me in 30 minutes. Like, not well, right check now. This sweat. Yeah. This is the so world I got suspended for that, bro. I'm like, bro, I ate a pepper at lunch, bro. Like, this is the stupidest <laughs> shit I've ever done. You know what I mean? said, fuck that. Never went back. No. Bro, they really did you dirty with that. Not even that's offered you the milk, bro. I know. Yeah, that's a fact, bro. Yeah, I had to go to the hospital, bro. That shit was fucked up. You went to the hospital for yeah, it? I didn't have to, bro, but, but I did. Yeah. yeah I, didn't, I didn't know if I had to. It probably so felt, like it, it yeah. felt like you needed to. Eh? That shit Better was fucked up. I don't like no sorry. spicy shit to this day. Yeah. yeah I swear to God. Cool off the yeah. sriracha, even. The sriracha and the fuzz cool sometimes. Yeah. yeah. Thanks, thanks. Oh, my God. That's fucking awesome. That is absurd, bro. Yeah, that's no, fucking fuck yeah, stupid, bro. My mom beat my ass, too. Yeah. You should have told her to try the I was pepper. like 15, 16 bro, <laughs> You should have said Mom here Try this pepper Tell yeah. me what you fucking feeling After yeah, that yeah, bro yeah, Facts <laughs> All right, so after a long night drinking, smoking, you go into the Captain Crunch or the Cinnamon Toast Crunch? Captain Crunch, bro. Uh, I, you ain't worried about with the berries. Yeah, 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 with the berries. You ain't worried about like the top of your mouth because that shit will fuck yeah, up. Yeah, no, the that's top. a fat bro. And I like the milk, <laughs> bro. After, after yeah. the Cinnamon Toast, yeah, it's bro. Facts, facts. Yeah, yeah. I'm that's a big fact. milk drinker, bro. Yeah, I finish me it. Me too, bro. <laughs> bro I love the milk. So I like, be drinking milk out the carton, bro. Now that I'm an adult, bro. Now that I'm an adult, bro, I would give a fuck. Hell no, bro. I don't give a shit. You drink whole milk. Yeah, yeah, fact. bro. Red the cat. red cat. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> People yeah. don't understand. Yeah, that's a fact. Uh, I've always I'm not drinking because I can man. taste the water in the blue one. That's yeah. my whole yeah, thing, bro. bro. You can nah, taste the man. water down. My girl be buying like skim milk and shit. I'm like, get the fuck out of here. Bro. <laughs> I don't want no almond milk. Yeah, try pour me a fucking bowl of cereal, bro. I'm gonna freak the fuck out. Bro, I <laughs> spaz on her. <laughs> so what the <laughs> fuck is this? Or just a tall glass of milk, bro. Sometimes I be choosing milk over water when I'm thirsty. You know what I'm saying? I'm just like, good, I can never drink it slow though. That's my issue. <laughs> well, so I was eating. We were at the crib the other day, bro, and I was eating because I, I get it. They're lactose intolerant and shit. So I am too, but fuck. But it. it's like I was pissed, bro, because I'm eating meatloaf, bro. And I'm just like, I just want milk. Yeah, <laughs> bro. I mean, like I can't eat meat, meatloaf with water. So you're bro. a cup of milk <laughs> with dinner kind of guy. Absolutely, absolutely, bro. Absolutely, like, bro. <laughs> fuck with milk, yeah, the long way. Yes, my boy Aaron felt that. Yeah, yeah he, he fucks with bad, milk. Bro. He fucks with it, bro. <laughs> <laughs> no, he's yeah. the biggest milk hater out there, bro. Really? Yeah. Hey, bro, I understand it, bro. I understand. Bro. Fuck whole milk. I, I'm more I of a blue cap type. I, bro, guy. I know it's gross, bro. I no, know it's that this so shit. Good, bro. I know, but it's just so, like hot dogs, bro. <laughs> I'm just I'm about to say it's like bro, but I'll like, eat a glizzy, bro. Bro, like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I will, bro. <laughs> Bro, he's yeah. a glizzy eater, bro. Yeah, bro, they be catching me on Snap all the time. Bro, with bro. the glizzy, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> they be trying to make fun of me. I'm Hell no, bro. I put the bro if I'm at if I need. If I need to eat 15 minutes for bro, I put the glizzy in the microwave, bro. Yeah, yeah. it's 45 yeah. seconds. Yeah, exactly. What are you talking about? Yeah. <laughs> That's just enough time to put a little bit of shit on my bun, and uh -huh. it's ready. Have you ever uh -huh. used bread as a bun? Are All you the shitting? time, bro. bro. Yeah, bro, I had it on my story the other day. I was eating uh, chili dogs, bro, with bro. The bread. Yeah, yeah. That's a fact. Bro, mm -hmm. I, sometimes the bread just is hitting, bro. That's that. Well, Do you like macaroni you salad? No. No? Potato no, I like salad? potatoes, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Macaroni yeah. <laughs> salad. Not a lot of people do, bro. I don't like that sauce. Oh, I'm fucking with it. I just like, I don't like, uh, I'm not finna eat no cold macaroni, bro. This is weird. <laughs> with the mayo sauce. Yeah, I know. You fuck with, you fuck with it? Uh, yeah, I fuck with it from time uh, to time. Uh, <laughs> I, 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 yeah, yeah. Like I know, but I, I can see why people don't fuck yeah. with it. I, He's like, I, yeah, I don't understand that I didn't fuck with it for like a long time. This guy put me on. What would be the worst way to die, in your opinion? Instantly, I want to know. I feel like uh, <laughs> any way that's instantly, I want to know what it's like to die, right? Oh, you know, right. I, I feel like that's like a but you want to feel like, like the most your lungs stop working? I, I, I don't know about that. <laughs> yeah. I want to feel like what like the experience of death. I want to know, like, if, if I'm like going to leave this world, I want to know it's like, I don't know, man. Like, I
fuck through. Yeah, <laughs> you break the back. Fuck <laughs> through, yeah. bro. Did you hear, did you hear the bell? No, yeah, I didn't hear the bell. <laughs> no, bro. I, I, it's crazy. What's bro. the craziest thing you've seen on psychedelics like that? Or you know what I mean? Bro, when I was seeing Hebrew, bro, so it's like... <laughs> he said like, when I was seeing Hebrew. <laughs> like, so I, I was at this house I used to frequent at, man, and I was sitting on the couch in the living room. Me and my homeboy Josh at the time we were hitting this DMT pad. And, bro, those uh, are scary. I know, bro. So it's like <laughs> for 15 minutes, I'm just hitting this pen, listening to my music. And then it's like I, the first thing I noticed... I, bro, I swear to God, we hit this shit for like 10 minutes, you know, because it's a pen, so it didn't like, it yeah, took a little just... longer. Yeah, you know what I mean? And like, I, my music starts to sound like it's like underwater. I'm like, what the <laughs> fuck? <laughs> and so I was like, I open my eyes and I just see Hebrew all over the walls, bro. And it's like, and I don't know how I walked on DMT because I've never done this before, after this, ever yeah. again. That was my first time. So I got up and I started walking, but it was like only my torso, bro. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. So it's like I go out to the back sliding glass door, and there's just a pack of dogs running in the backyard. I'm like, what the fuck is going on? And this Caleb, this man Caleb, he's standing in the backyard. I'm like, bro, Caleb, you need to get in, bro. There's wolves out there, bro. You know, there's a pack of dogs running in. And then I'm like, oh, wait, shit. Caleb's Jesus. Like, he's bro, good. Bro, I had that moment. Yeah, he just looked like Jesus, bro. The way the light was shining, I was like, he's good. Like, he's yeah. Chilling. He's good out there. <laughs> But dogs don't <laughs> give a fuck about him. Yeah. Uh, that was pretty crazy, bro. That that shit shit broke like an hour brain, after bro. that, because DMT only lasts like 15, 20 minutes. 20 minutes yeah. Yeah. But it's like, it fucked, like that experience fucked me up. So, like, we went out to this restaurant later that night, and my cup was made out of ice, right? They had like, it was crazy. I know, fancy, bro, but bro. I was like, is this real? Bro. Like, you know what I mean? Like, I couldn't, like, it was <laughs> fucking, it was throwing me off for the rest of the day. That's why I can't yeah. do I was like, bro, anymore. is this made of ice? Like, am I tripping or what? Yeah. So this feels cold as fuck. Yeah, yeah, facts. That's fucking scary, bro. Yeah. Where do you think the worst place to do that type of shit would be? Around a whole bunch of people who aren't. Yeah. yeah. You gotta yeah. be. Like a carnival. Yeah. Yeah, I took acid at the Chop Chaz shit, bro. And that was rough. Oh. I got <laughs> pepper sprayed and shit. Like what? Tear gas. It was rough. Bro. I would feel like I'm dying. Oh, well, it was fucking crazy, bro. Yeah. It bro. was fun. It was fun. When we were marching and shit, bro, yeah. I was just so intimidated. Though. But I was with people who knew... That's a whole. It was that was a whole fucked up story, but yeah, we rushed around a whole bunch of people who aren't doing it, bro. Yeah, yeah first time. Uh, well, I'm not gonna say that. <laughs> <laughs> what is your favorite story to tell? My favorite story, <laughs> like when you meet somebody, you're like, oh, it's my favorite one to tell. <laughs> um, man, I don't know if I should share that one there. My favorite story to tell. Uh. Mikey, you ever heard that um, the strip club story with the the one I was finna tell for the comedy story when I shit myself at the strip club? Bro, I love that. When I shit, because, <laughs> hey, bro, you shit yourself is one of my <laughs> questions. Yeah, facts, bro. Yes, 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 bro. Yeah, I can tell that. Bro. I mean, if you want, is that what you want me to do? Yeah. Oh man, bro. So <laughs> it was my 18th birthday, and uh, with my homeboys Justin, with my homeboy Billy, and. Uh, it's my 18th birthday, so me and Justin are at home. Billy's at work. We all live together, but Billy's at work, so me and Justin are just at home getting drunk all day. And Billy pulls up. He takes us out to the strip club. Can't really drink in the strip club, so we're yeah. drinking on the way up there still. So by the time we get in the strip club, bro, I'm lit. And uh, <laughs> so we go in there, and Billy hands me, like, $500 bills. So you go trade them in for ones or whatever, you know. And so we get up there, and Billy's giving me, you know, teaching me the game and shit, you know what I mean? Like, it was, the baddest bitch up there, you throw the most ones, she's finna come talk to you, you go do, you know what I mean? So we go, out, I'm throwing ones at this bitch, she comes and grabs me, she takes me into this room, she gives me a lap dance and shit, right? It's hella dark in here, right? <laughs> so it's like, I have, uh, there's so there, I only put in like 300, so I had like $200 bills right here, right? Uh, like, cause I only put in three of them, like exchange three of them, so I have $200 bills right here, but I threw so many ones, and this is feeling even right now. Yeah. So it's like, yeah. <laughs> it's so like, like even yeah. right now. So I'm, but this room is hella dark. So, like, Billy's te- te- or he was telling me before I went back in, you need to tip her at the end, whatever. So, it's like, it's hella dark. So, she gets up, we're done. So, I go to tip her, bro. And I, we walk out. And, like, she's almost through the door, like, the backstage door or whatever. And I realized that I just gave this bitch my hundreds, bro. And I'm pissed as fuck. And I'm drunk as shit, bro. So, I'm like, you fucking... Just come here. Yeah, you fucking bitch. <laughs> you my motherfucking money. You know what I mean? So, I get escorted out. And I'm like, Billy, Justin, let's go. And they're like, no. So <laughs> go wait in the bar. It's <laughs> like, my birthday. I know, exactly. <laughs> bro, so like Billy had just got this brand new Beamer, bro. 
And bro, oh, bro. so I fuck, he gives me the keys and I go sleep in the car, bro. And I wake up and I just shit myself, bro. Oh, it's, oh, bro, it's all over the Beamer, bro. It's all, bro, on God, bro. Up your but back we, and shit. Nah, not my back, bro. It was, it was crazy. Was bro. it in the shorts or? Yeah, bro. It was, yeah, <laughs> well, I just saw it straight up, bro. I cannot believe I'm telling this right now. Hey, yeah. we are all about comfortability. So, right so I, so I get out the car. I'm like, what? So they're still in there, you know. What I, mean? yeah. I get, but I'm out the car. I'm like, what? The, so we just went camping the week before. So I open up the back and there's, I change my clothes, bro. But I'm like, what the fuck am I about to do? So this bum comes up. This is a homeless person. Try to read me poetry and shit. I'm like, man, get the fuck away from me, dude. You know what I mean? Like, I'm, just shit dealing, with, I'm dealing with something here, bro. So it's like, all I have are these ones in my pocket. All I have are these ones in my pocket, bro. So it's like, I know what he wants, so I just give him my ones to get the fuck away from me, bro. You oh, I thought you were going to say you wiped the shit. No, <laughs> no. So I give him this money, and I tell him, get the fuck out of here, bro. So I come to the conclusion, I'm just drunk. I'm like, bro, I can't face this. Like, I have to leave. So it's like, <laughs> so I'm like bro. So I look up on my phone, nearest bus stop, bro. So I go, I get on the bus stop. Time. Or go to the bus. The bus gets there. It's the only time I've ever been. Bro, I didn't have no ones to pay this bitch. Bro, I gave the ones to the homeless dude. Uh. So this bitch do not let me on the bus, bro. So I'm like, oh my fucking god, bro. Yeah, you know. And now mad. I'm stuck on Aurora in Seattle, bro. Bro, <laughs> that's not a good shit yeah. to be stuck <laughs> Hell on, no, bro. bro. <laughs> Yeah, but uh, bitches, that'll shit got, I had to go back, bro. Shit got figured the fuck out. Oh. Shit got <laughs> shit got figured out. Buddy with the baby pins. wipes and shit, bro. It was all bad, bro. With yeah. how mad was the homie? Bro, piss. Billy was mad as fuck, bro. For like, three, <laughs> he didn't talk to me for like three weeks, bro. And we lived in the same motherfucking house. Yeah. <laughs> but bro, so I had this like, I had this gig lined up. I didn't. I never ended up doing it. It was like this comedy show gig in Tacoma, and uh, that I was supposed to. I was I was finna go out there and tell that story, but yeah. We used to tell that story at the crib all the time. Yeah, everybody laughed. Oh, yeah, something. glad you yeah. shared it with us, bro. Yeah. yeah. That shit was fucking I, funny. Were you, you gonna, oh, go were, ahead. Were you going to go to the uh, Tacoma Comedy Club? I, so it was some, I don't think it was the, to, the Tacoma Comedy Club specifically. I think there's a couple down there. So you uh, like stand-up? Yeah, bro, facts. Yeah, yeah. I wish I was in more in touch like with stand-up locally and shit. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. I, I'm not, but I should get. But I, I, I fuck with stand-up, yeah. That's Would, like 90% of what I watch, bro. Who's yeah. your favorite? I mean, I just, Dave Chappelle is probably the goat. You yeah, know what I mean, for sure. Yeah. I like Burt Kreischer. You know, Burt Kreischer's is. Yeah, yeah, he's funny as fuck. The Machine. Yeah, yeah. whiskey yeah. cock locked dog. Yeah, yeah. fuck with that. Yeah, Cat no, Williams, funny. old shit. Cat Williams, old shit. Yeah, yeah. facts, bro. I didn't Cal like the the newer one as much, but I mean, it was still kind of funny. But yeah. the, the older shit is yeah. fucking. Yeah, Cat Williams is a goat for yeah, sure. That's facts. in my top five. Yeah. Do you guys go on any family vacations? Nah, man. I mean. I no no I be no. chilling, bro. <laughs> yeah, I mean I I should go on more, but uh, no nah, I be chilling, bro. I mean we last vacation I think we Port Townsend the show in Port Townsend that's like the last time we I even went out of town. Yeah. What's different from your first show to the last show you did? Like, what's the biggest? Was that the change? last show we did? No, the show I did. Oh, it was. My yeah, because you guys one. were on a block performing yeah, somewhere. Yeah, yep, yep. My first one, my last one. Uh, yeah, like, what's the biggest differences? I mean, I have, like, more of, more songs to choose from and shit now. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Like, I was performing a lot of unreleased shit before because, like, I didn't have a lot released. You know what I mean? Right. I had, like, one or two songs released. I think my first show I did with you guys, mm -hmm. Rhythm and Rhymes, the first one I did with you guys, I don't think I had anything released. Yeah. But How do you get in that position with not a lot of stuff released? I just had the right people around me at the right yeah. time, I think, man. Like, you know, Mikey's helped me out a lot, man. That's like, he's like my big brother, bro. He's like, he's, Mikey's been in the Seattle scene for a long time. You know, yeah. I mean, for, a, for a, lot, a lot longer than I have been, bro. You know what I mean? He's introduced me to a lot of people. It's just a lot, <laughs> the people I have around me, man, have really, like, seen potential in me and shit, you know? That's yeah. dope. Yeah. I'm kind of the dude, uh, who who the dude who knows everybody, but the dude who's not, you know what I mean. But right. he, who's not always known to everybody, you know. Exactly. I know I, I'm not I'm not I'm not super known yet, but I know everybody. Type. Would shit, you say right? you weren't always one for like the spotlight? Or was that was that something you? Uh, yeah, no. For I, I for the for the right reasons, for sure, I am. You know what I mean. I don't I don't. So like, I like to rap, bro. You know what I mean. If I could just showcase that and just do that to the full extent, and like make my entire living off of that. I would do that, you know what I mean? But it's in order to do that, I have to do a lot of shit that I'm not, I don't really like. I'm not, I'm not a content creator, you know what right. I mean? I don't like, I, I, my presence on Instagram, you know what I mean? It's not like everybody, I don't, I'm, I'm not, I don't be like being on 
if I if I wasn't making music, if I wasn't rapping and shit, bro, I wouldn't even be on no social media type right. shit. You that, know what man. I mean? So it's like, there's there's some shit I don't know, man. Like I, you know, the, the spotlight, like on stage type shit. Yeah, you know what I mean. But like in 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 groups and closed environments and shit like that. I mean, I'm chilling for yeah. the most part. You I know? feel that for sure. I, I like to listen a lot more than I talk. How long has the grind been going? Like serious grind. Ser- uh, um. So I started take. I, I've been making music for a while. You know, started making rap music when I was what 12, 13, but. I mean, I would say not till I was like 18, 19. Yeah. And you're 22 now? 22. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So what were you, you said you did shows before you had released stuff. So did that help like kind of like solidify like, damn, maybe this is what I want to do by doing that show first before dropping a song? Yeah. Well, so I I have catalogs on SoundCloud and YouTube and shit from back in the day. You know what okay. I mean? So it's like I, before that point. Like at, at the period of time I was in, like when SoundCloud was a thing, I don't. I think Distro could post my music to SoundCloud. You know what I mean? But I'm, I don't worry about that no more. Right. You know what I mean? Right, but right. like, there when I was 16, 15 years old, if you would have asked me then, I did have a catalog. You know what I mean? I have old music videos that I don't count in my catalog now. You ever break a bone? Yeah. What'd you break? Uh, first of all, I broke my elbow. I used to skateboard when I was a kid. Ooh, yeah. bro. Yeah. I broke my arm skating trying to ollie over a street grate. Yeah. I broke yeah. my elbow, and my ankle. Yeah. Ugh. How do you yeah. What'd the elbow feel like When it broke It's just like Imagine like You got hit in your funny bone bro But yeah. it's like Ten times worse than that yeah. And it don't stop for like, <laughs> <laughs> My ankle was not Wasn't even as bad as my elbow No bro Cause I can imagine Like everything runs through Right there yeah, You know yeah. what I'm saying So like The ankle was just Worse like to deal with Like it was just hard to walk And shit You know what I mean I remember them being. I, was, I, used to, I used to skate and shit You know what I mean I remember being like 12 years old At the skate park Up on Mokoshu Hill yeah, I fuck there's hella bitches around and I fucking uh, <laughs> 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 fell off my board and I fucking broke I remember like I felt my ankle snap, bro. But there's hella bitches around, so, so you I played do it not off. cry, bro. Yes, I, was like, bro. Yeah, I was like twelve years old and I stood up and stepped on it and I cried, bro. <laughs> bro <I'll> see, <laughs> yeah. Seeing black and white and shit. Yeah, I fucked facts. up my ankle once, bro. I went in, I've never been in a shock before, but like I started sweating, fucking Yeah. 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 What would you say is the dream like for you? Right now. Um, like what are you envisioning? I mean Hey, there's things that I want. Yeah, we'll hook them up soon. So, yeah, there's a the only two things that like I really there's a lot of things that I want. You know what I mean? Like, I mean I've I've, I've I know that not everybody could be like Drake. You know what I mean? You know what I mean for sure. And and like I don't I don't I don't need to be walking through like Walmart and like motherfuckers know who I am. You know what I mean? If I was like the only the only two things that I really need to like be fulfilled in this is like be like financially free. You know what I mean? And on, on a higher level, you know what I mean? Like, mm-hmm. and uh, like respect from like my peers. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? I want like respect from the people that I respect. You know yeah. what I mean? Like, yeah. like, you know, like a Joey Badass or like a Pusha T type shit, or Freddie Gibbs type yeah, shit. Yeah. You know, if I would like get nods from them, yeah. and I was able to, you know what I mean? Yeah. I, everything else would be cool. You know what I mean? Like you living in Calabasas and this yeah. and that, yeah. you know what I mean? Hell. But if like yep. I could go without it, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Like those, those are lesser than like, I don't know. Find it, being financially <clears throat> free and like getting the respect from from my peers and shit is probably the most important things. That's yeah, dope. Yeah. Yeah. That's kind of what my dream is too. Is just to be able to provide. Also, yeah. just feel like we have a lot of a lot of the people we talk to, and I could tell with you, we just have a lot of good energy to give. Yeah, you know well, what I mean. Yeah, for sure. And uh, bottom line, like <laughs> this is something I just love to do. You right. Know what yeah. I mean, like I am taking it seriously. And it's like for some people, this is just therapy to them, mm-hmm. and like they do that, they 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 don't plan on taking it anywhere else. But like this is therapy for me too. But I do plan on taking it other place. You know what I mean? But like in the in the long run, like God forbid. But like say I'm 50 years old, and uh, you know what I mean? I'm still working a nine to five. You know whatever. Like as long as I could say like it just wasn't in my cards, and I gave it everything I had. You know what I mean? Yeah. I'm cool. You yeah, know what I mean? I'm absolutely. cool. I swear to God. As long right. as you know what I mean? Because it's like, but if I if I wake up and I'm 55 years old, and then it's like. I have to sit there and wonder what could have happened if I didn't. You if know I just what I mean? tried a little bit harder. Exactly, bro. So yeah. it's like I'm, I'm I'm finna go all in with this shit, bro, and see where this shit take me. And uh, you know I've been doing that. And you know what I mean? I got I got a group of people who listen to my music. You know what I mean? Filthy. I do well. But you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, for yeah. sure. That's a great way to look at it, for sure. Yeah, it's a fact, bro. As long as you know what I mean, as long as I don't have to wonder what what could have happened, bro. Mm-hmm. Just yeah, get this shit my off. Yeah. And before we swap you out with your homie, I got a couple of questions I want to ask before you get off. Yeah. One of them is getting right now what advice would you give to that 15 year old who just got you know put on their own man i mean 
I, I, I honestly, maybe this isn't the route for everybody, bro, but just from my own personal experience, like, just figure this shit out, bro. You know what I mean? Like, everything that I have, it's, you're going to fail, bro. You know what right. I mean? Especially being 15 or, you know, being a young kid, if you're out there on your own, if you, whatever, you know what I mean? You, trial and error, bro. You know what I mean? Like, you're going to fail. It's going to happen. Right. You know what I mean? Right. It's going to. When I was 15, I didn't think it was going to happen. I thought I had everything figured out for sure. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? And a lot more than other 15-year-olds, but, like, I failed miserably right. tough. And everything that I know now as an adult is my own failed, personal bro. experience. Like, nobody yeah. taught me shit. You know exactly. what I mean? So it's just like, you just got to ride that out, bro. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? And it's like... A lot of times, like, there's a lot of people who are, you know what I mean? Like, a lot, uh, I used to be addicted to drugs and shit, you know what I mean? And I've, like, overcame that. I smoke weed, drink now, do a little psychedelics, you know? But uh, yeah. I used to be addicted to drugs and shit. So it's like, I know a lot of people, you know what I mean, who are still stuck out there right. doing whatever. And it's like, a lot of times, you just figure, they ask me for advice, and you just, you just you have to go through enough pain, I guess. You know what I mean? That goes for any type of struggle, you know what yeah, I mean? Yeah. Like, whether it's just, you know, growing up without parents, growing up, with, you know what I mean? Like, if, if, you just have to go through enough pain to get to a certain point to where you're like, I'm going to fucking get the fuck out of this yeah. shit. You and know at know the mean? end of the day, it's up to you. It's a fact. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. Character Problems are never lack of resources, bro. It's like lack of resourcefulness. Yeah. You know yeah. what I mean? At all times, at least for me, you know what I mean? I ain't speaking for nobody else. I appreciate like, that. Yeah. That's, that's a really dope insight that you yes, said sir. there. And um, one, another question before we get out is, what is one movie that has really like stuck with you and kind of been like really special in your eyes? Man, The Pursuit of Happiness. Yeah, That's a great yeah, film. Yeah. I know yeah. it's a hot take right now, but Will Smith's my favorite actor, bro. Yeah. I fuck with Will Smith. Yeah. He's on a boycott. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I am boycotting him a little bit. Yeah, I, yeah, I fucked yeah. with him so hard. I do. Hey, I, I agree. I, yeah. it, was, it, was some, it was some weird. And I, but I, yeah. like, I'm a big-ass fan of comedy, so yeah. I see it from the comedian's yeah. perspective, too. He's doing yeah. a job, you know? Yeah, he, anyway. was, he was wrong for that, bro. I don't yeah. think it should have happened, but mm -hmm. I do fuck with my boy. Yeah. yeah. I, <laughs> but all right, man. I really appreciate you for yeah, coming on, bro. Absolutely, yeah, man. man. Guess we have, oh, oh shit, shit. We my bad. All appreciate right. you for yeah, coming yeah. on, man. Absolutely. Everyone, give a big fucking round of applause for Jay Miller. Hell, Hell yeah. yeah! Make sure y'all check the links in the description here. Yeah. And now we got gifted youngsters coming on for a quickie. Oh, boy. Um, yes. Thanks, Hell yeah, brother. How you doing? What's up? Hey, thanks for having me. Yeah, of course, no bro. I'm sorry we're not a little bit more prepared. I oh, know you're all good. But I mean, shit, we can just talk, man. How yeah, you doing, bro? Talk. I'm good. It's good to uh, it's good to see the homie Jake doing things. Um, it's been cool watching him grow. So, um, yeah, you know, I thought it was cool we could get like a little media look on his own, and um, right. he's, you know, I didn't have that that early into when I was doing this. So, right. Yeah, have you done an interview before? Yeah, I've done a couple for Rainier Ave Radio. Okay. Yeah. What's yeah. that like? What's different between radio and you feel like what you just saw us do? I, I like this format better just because radio, it's like they have they have their topics, which are more of like the focus more so than you. So it's like, you know, I'm in studio and they're asking me questions, but they're also kind of going through like their scheduled programming. And if I don't have anything to chime into, then I'm kind of just sitting there awkwardly. What's the first time you did radio pretty nerve wracking? Yeah, it was super nerve wracking. I was freaking out. Yeah, <laughs> for sure. Did they actually have questions for you? Because I've heard times where they like don't even really have anything and they're just yeah. like, do your fucking thing. They, <laughs> they had some questions. Um, they were somewhat prepared. But, uh, you know, it was I was I think I was there for like an hour and a half and I maybe had like 15 minutes of questions and they showed my song or whatever. So oh, that's dope. Yeah. So yeah. so for the people who don't know, let them know where they can find all your music real quick. So, I mean. Spotify, Instagram, kind of just the usual shit. Uh, it's Gifted Youngsters that's spelled, uh, Youngsters is spelled Y-O-U-N-G-S-T-A-Z. Uh, a lot of people get that get that part wrong, but yeah, just on all the social medias, I mean, obviously Spotify, YouTube are going to be the best ones. Right. Yeah. Are you yeah. posting a lot of visuals with your songs? Uh, man, out of every part of like the whole music game, the like the music video part of it i think is the hardest it is yeah it really is. It takes a lot of organization and it money does. too. I a mean, lot of to money to get it right yeah and then like you're out there in public like you know like dancing to n silence yeah you know, <laughs> you know yeah. what i'm saying it, it's kind of awkward and um so you know putting all that money in and then you know like the quality of the video might be good but your performance maybe not maybe not so right. I don't have too many visuals out for that reason. I actually took two of them down for that reason. So right now, I think I have I have two up. Uh, one song is called Spike Lee. That was like right before quarantine happened. Another one's called No Feelings. That was uh, it was like February or March or something. 
And then, of course, I got uh, the Jay Miller intro video with Shamel. That shit was filthy. Yeah, that's probably my favorite <coughs> video I'm in. Yeah. Yeah. You felt like the energy was high in that? Yeah. And, like, that was one where I watched back, uh, and I'm like, that was Amante Cruz. Yeah, total. Oh, yeah. Total Shout Vista. out to him. Yeah, uh, Amante Cruz, A-M-A-N-T-C-R-U-Z. Uh, he's a, he's an artist, a really talented artist, like a musical artist, but he also does photo and video. That's dope. Uh, yeah, multi-talented. But, yeah, yeah, man, he's super talented. He's a... <coughs> Like I kind of used to use this term as a joke, but he's for real, like a visionary artist. He's super talented. That's filthy. Yeah. Well, speaking of uh, being like multi-talented, <clears throat> your boy was telling us that uh, you just got done like doing a show for VH1. Yeah, so it, it was VH2, um, okay. and uh, yeah, I don't know if it's gonna air. I guess that's kind of a thing with reality shows. Right. They they film a lot of them, but not many of them air. But yeah, I mean. I, I went into it with the intention that it was going to air. Um, obviously, VH2, like, I hadn't heard of VH2 beforehand. But you go to the VH2 Instagram, it's a little bit concerning. I remember checking that out <laughs> before I went down there. <laughs> but, yeah, it was it was 10 rappers from around the country, like, primarily based in the southeast. The show was filmed in Atlanta. And, uh, yeah, they put 10 of us in a house and just had us do, like, rap-related challenges yeah. and... Yeah, just, uh, you know, single elimination shit. And uh, it was a really good experience, whether it airs or not. Um, it, it was a really good experience, and I learned a lot. But um, What was the best advice you got there? Or, like, <sighs> most helpful learning? Man. Because, I mean, being yeah. around that many people trying to do it is probably really yeah. good for your ideas, yeah. brainstorms. I mean, honestly, I think it was just... Uh, I didn't really have too many people giving me advice. Um, there was one guy there, his name was Billy Flynn, and he's somehow legally involved with the Wu-Tang Clan. I think he might be their counsel or something like that, but he's he's up there in like the music industry executive world, and um, there were a lot of times there where I was like really doubting myself, and every time I talked to him, he just seemed so confident that I was gonna be fine, regardless of what happened on the show, and so, I think that is just like I always had a confidence issue and so hearing like that someone that's like up there like that believes in you um, that goes a long way yeah it's got to feel good yeah it, it felt really good and I still talk to Billy to this day he's fed me a couple beats and talked about getting me out to Boston for a video he's a really busy dude so I don't know yeah. if it'll happen but you know maybe someday yeah it's got to feel good to have that yeah. kind of recognition yeah yeah it's dope so let's let's get a little bit of background real quick so did you grow up in Washington where are you from yeah, I grew up in Port Townsend. Uh, for anyone that doesn't know, it's like a small little fishing town on the peninsula. Um, uh, like a really like old white demographic out there. Yeah. Yeah. Lighthouse but, type of city. Exactly. Yeah. yeah, the lighthouse. That's like the unofficial logo. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Got like fucking concrete bricks everywhere mm -hmm. and shit. Exactly. <laughs> like the old tobacco buildings. That's exactly it. That's fucking crazy. So yeah. you be coming out here a lot to do music or is it more your scene over there? Uh, I live I live out here. Okay. I've lived out here for the last 10 years. And um, I, I've, I think I've done one show back home and like it, it was tight, but um I, I moved back for quarantine trying to do music out there it's non-existent right mm -hmm. um you have to at least be in seattle seattle might not even be enough mm -hmm. but you got, gotta at least be somewhere like this i think yeah because uh, seattle right now at least it, it's only getting bigger you know yeah. what i mean like especially with the helping local people trying to make it and shit for sure like i mean we got to get a good you know rapper out of here the last one was fucking macklemore not everyone's on his side you know what, what you're yeah. talking about oh yeah, yeah. juice Mosey. the god too well i guess Lil mosey wasn't from seattle but no. it mount lake terrace yeah that something like that yeah i mean I, but most people they generalize it like i when i blow up i know i'm not saying i'm from seattle because i've been yeah. there like eight times yeah in my whole life I so it's it. like you know what I mean? I, I'm sure Seattleites appreciate that. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, I just, a lot of people like to be like, oh, I'm from Seattle is a bigger mm -hmm. city and stuff. It's just easier for people to recognize. Mm -hmm. Right. So right. where are you recording at right now? Have you been to Arch Rivals as well? I've been to Arch Rivals. Yeah, Kobe's a, a good friend of mine too. But um, did you meet him from that? I didn't. I just think I just met him from Instagram, like okay. posted some music shit, commented back on it, and uh, we linked up and... He's been a, a really good, loyal friend ever since. But in terms of recording, I was really blessed. Um, the engineer, Sendai Mike, he was a friend of mine in high school. And so when he started doing engineering, we actually lived together. And he started his engineering studio in his bedroom. 
you know, having people come through all the time, like Do Normal came through, Nick Weaver came through, uh, Wolf Tone came through, like a lot of dope rappers from yeah. like the 2017 era. Those are some dope, yeah, I was, yeah. I was noticing some of the yeah. names you were saying, those are nice. And so he was doing that out of his bedroom, and then eventually, like, every time he would get money, he would just invest that into new equipment, up the price, and he got to the point where he could uh, open up his own studio. And ever since then, he's just kind of been like, um, I don't know if I would be doing this if it wasn't for you. Like when we first became friends, um, we got really deep into like trying to record our own raps and stuff. And uh, because of that, he always just gives me like a super, like a super good price on it. And uh, he's a great engineer. He like knows my voice really well. So right. I just stick to him. I have worked with No Man at Arch Rivals, not at Arch Rivals, but when he was at Sage, I recorded yeah. with him. And I gotta say, like he, the song he did, it might be like my favorite. Uh, like vocal take that I have like he did a really good job with it so uh, yeah. I've been meaning to drop by there and go back and see him yeah yeah maybe record over there I mean Sendai's a busy dude too it's kind of hard to get booking for him so yeah what's your favorite part about the creative process of making a song oh man um, it's definitely not the writing part no. I, <laughs> I hate the writing part like it's you like right though more writing than freestyles and stuff yeah i gotta write yeah. i gotta write like my style is like really choppy so i can't i can't like come up with that shit in my head but um for me it's like once you have that verse like all the way done or like almost all the way done and you're rehearsing it to the beat it's like you just like made this like new weapon and you're like sharpening it and getting it ready right. and then like and then performing. I mean, performing has got to be the best part for me, in my opinion. Like, um, That's the payoff, you know, yeah. from the hard work, yeah. I feel like. It's seeing the reaction of the crowd. And for sure, yeah. Have you done a lot of uh, headliners? Or are you kind of like working your way around and making a name still? Um, I haven't done too many headliners. I've been performing for four, four or five years. and uh, That's a lot longer than most people, you know. Yeah. So that's good. I mean, to get that much repetition you probably are a killer on stage yeah man it's uh i think probably at this point i've done like maybe like 65 shows so damn oh, shit. yeah all in washington uh i've done a couple in portland i did one out in atlanta um idaho but for the most part in seattle like the vast vast majority yeah yeah are you yeah. doing all your own booking uh yeah yeah i've got like i was plugged in with nectar pretty tight so they were giving me a guarantee for a while uh, they'd hit me up on short notice and I could almost always do it. So I got some cool bookings through that. Like uh, Andre Nicotina was a really cool one that came like that. Um, and then some, a lot of it's just kind of people who know me. They hit me up, ask me to do their shows. When I was first getting into it, I wouldn't say no to any shows. So oh, yeah. like 2019, I think I did 30 shows in 52 weeks, something like that. Uh, that's good to get your name out there for sure. Yeah, yeah, it was good. And then quarantine happened and, right. and things got a little bit weird. And um, now I'm just kind of at this point where even though like I love performing, I don't want to be doing like smaller venues i feel like i've grown my name to a point where like i'm kind of cheapening it by performing at certain places mm -hmm. so i'm trying to do it fewer and far but like far between and then also not tax out my fan base by being like hey i got a show like here 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 and here you got to come to all of them right i think it's better to just like here and there and drop them yeah, yeah i mean it's nice to give like your homies options but at the same time if you do that you'll have like five or six come through to this one and three yeah. or four to that one when you could just get them all at one show and have like you know, I'm, nice. try, yeah. I'm trying to feel like I'm fucking famous when I'm up there rapping. Like, right, I don't, don't want to be, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, you want yeah. the energy. You want to feed off it. Everybody's yeah. been waiting for you to hop back on stage again. Right. Type yeah. shit. Exactly. What's your favorite song to perform? Oh, man. Honestly, it's the stuff with Jay Miller. Really? Uh, Down With Me. Down With Me is probably my favorite one. Um, I also really like intro. Um, I like the collab joints. Like, uh, my DJ is also a rapper. His name's Akira Gautama. And we've got a couple tracks too and uh i don't know i just kind of like the feature thing because i have like a choppy style right so when we're doing that i can focus my energy on my 16 bars of just like hard but if i do that for a whole song like that's gonna that's not gonna sound good right yeah and it's like forget about trying to do that for a hook yeah and on all the jay miller songs or like usually anytime i'm featured with someone i'm just like you know you're you get to do your thing why don't you do the hook right you're like you set it up and then i'll come in and kill the rest exactly what was your favorite cartoon growing up 
Oh man, that's a tough one. Space Ghost was really dope. Do you guys know Space Ghost? Never. Heard oh man, I'm a little bit older. I'm 33, so it's oh, like okay. old school Cartoon Network. I really okay. liked Invader Zim too. I did okay, like Invader yeah. Zim. Zim. I got really into Dragon Ball Z. Like, yes. Like I got into like the GT. Like, yep. Me too. You know, you're like on the computer looking up like SSJ5. Yes, like, bro. Can yeah. you try to see? Yeah. Yeah. So, I was big on that. Did you ever watch Power Rangers? I did, yeah, yeah. I remember the first episode of that shit, actually. That really? was crazy, yeah. It's yeah. got to meet something now. Man, that shit really took over, to be honest. Bro, and, Power uh, Rangers, bro. The first episode of Power Rangers, like, you know, they have all the colors, but, like, which which is the color that every kid wants to be? Black. Yeah. yeah. Well, <laughs> no. <laughs> well, you that's the thing. Black. That's the thing. Kids, <laughs> kids will say red, green, and white. Yeah. Because in that first episode, they made the Black Ranger cry. And I feel like that was their way of like evening things for the kids. They're like, man, all the kids are gonna want to be the Black Ranger. Like, yeah. <laughs> you know, we gotta kind of. No, I always <laughs> fucked with the Black Ranger or the ones that they add later. Like in the original, they added yeah. the Green Ranger. Yeah. He was filthy, bro. The Bro, Ninja Turtles. Oh, Ninja crazy. Bro, I read a comic book last year, bro, where it was Ninja Turtles and Power Rangers together, bro. And the turtles got the fucking morphers and put on the suits, bro. Shit was intense. I look you want to borrow that. Do you, do you still have it? Yeah, I oh, got okay. it. It's cool. in my collection, bro. I be collecting. Bro, the the old school Ninja Turtles were all good. Like the cartoon, the weird live action movies, yeah. <laughs> and the NES game. You guys ever played the NES game? Yes, bro. I never did. Bro, that shit is so hard. Bro, all of those games back then were so fucking yeah. hard, bro. Like, because one, you had no saves. What's up with that bullshit? It's just for <laughs> right. kids, bro. Yeah. No saving. Right. Like, I got to go to school. I'm trying to get a kick, yeah. a quick 20 in the morning, you That's know? they get you. What I hated was when my memory card would get full on the PlayStation 2. You have to have, like, three of them bitches. And Ready you better to go. know which one bro. you need. Yeah. Bro, I can relate to that. I use an old school sampler on stage, and so I can only fit one set on there. So oh, I'll shit. be up there, like, trying to switch the memory card really <laughs> quick without, like, a disturbance. I'm like, bro, got spit an acapella really quick. Gotta, yeah. like, so do some crowd work. I'll yeah. be right back. Yeah, <laughs> blow exactly. on that bitch. That happens sometimes. Bro, that's yeah. how you used to always get the fucking second shit to work, yo. Yeah, <laughs> just blow it. Uh, one thing I was always, one thing I was wondering, because you don't see it uh, very often, especially with, uh, like, you being a rapper and, like, the kind of status you have. Why, why do you have your Instagram as private? Does it kind of slow down, like, the... Um, uh, it's for following like followers retention because it's uh, if you want to f- like it's easy to follow someone But when you hit unfollow if it's not a private profile, it just unfollows But mm-hmm. if it's not a pro- private profile it prompts them So it puts up like an extra layer for that And then I also feel like if I were to add someone on Instagram and they saw my page and they saw that it was private There's a little bit more intrigue to follow back So I just okay. find that like the follower like retention and also follow backs are better on private okay. but uh every now and then like if i'm promoting something i'll switch it to public i can run ads and whatnot mm-hmm. but yeah. that's smart though yeah i found i found it works what what has been the biggest like obstacle in promoting you feel like uh early on it was oversaturation kind of what i was talking about about just having too many shows and too many options um when I first got into it, there was also like kind of a novelty factor. I think a lot of people didn't expect me to become an MC. So when they found out I was rapping, they were like, well, I got to see this shit. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And now it's kind of like that's worn off on people. And um, I, th- I think a lot of it is also drops. I haven't been dropping like I was earlier. Part of that is like a quality control issue. But um yeah, I don't. I don't know. There's there's a lot of different factors that kind of go into it. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, a lot of people think it's just post a song and it blows up, but it it you post a song, then you got to get your people to look at it, then you got to have yeah. them get their people to look yeah. at it, and just for because I've noticed that when shit doesn't have the numbers, it's harder for other people to get behind it. But if yeah. the shit has some numbers, yeah, they they all flood to it. Agreed. You know what I mean? Yeah, right. agreed. I think that's why a lot of like bigger artists and shit they pay for like views and stuff to just get it off the ground. I mean, like, yeah, there's something to be said for like the social proof of putting like a thousand plays on something before you release it to the masses. Like, I don't, I don't think that's a bad strategy at all. Mm-hmm. I mean, social proof is everything in this game. Um, like the way we portray ourselves on Instagram is like definitely not the reality, obviously. And it's right. like, but. I don't know, you, you kind of got to, like, fool people into thinking you're something that you're not in order to make it. And, like, it's kind of sad, but 
it is what it is and that's not true 100 percent of the time either like but I think there's this rom like romantic idea about you're gonna put a song out and with no promotion or no money behind the marketing aspect, like your music is just gonna be so good that the music's gonna speak for itself and Absolutely. everyone's gonna listen to it. And that's just not the case because the music isn't gonna get to those ears unless you put the money behind it. And so I think however much money you spend on making that song, you should triple that and promote promotion. it. Yeah. And yeah. I think also, like you were saying with how many shows you were doing, the rap game right now is a lot like in the 90s y you knew every rapper right they were all like out all the good ones you know what i mean yeah nowadays with all the ways people can put out their own music there's so much music so for the music to speak for itself it has to be you know a lot of the times it's on tiktok now right. those are the ones that you know what i'm saying because yeah. it's it's crazy just how much is being out there how many people actually do make dope music yeah. and then just you know but i believe because there's what like eight billion people on the planet, there's got to be at least fucking four hundred thousand that rock with you that could pay your rent, pay your bills. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, honestly, <laughs> that's how I feel like in life with yeah. every entertainer. I think you could make it on a thousand. Yeah, bro. A thousand uh, fan, a thousand solid fans. I think you could make it, and kind of like what Jake was saying, like I don't need to be Drake. I'm just trying to eat off this. Like I'm just trying to not have to work a regular job. Right. Yeah. Just be a recording musical artist. Yeah. Yeah. Financial freedom. Right. Yeah. Did, did you ever play any sports growing up? Uh, yeah, yeah. So uh, I was really big into like the martial arts world. Um, I was doing like Taekwondo, Brazilian Jiu Jitsu. Boxing. Let me ask you this real quick. Isn't it hard to fight someone with the Taekwondo training if they don't know it, it as well? It, it was. <laughs> so when I when I first got you mean like using Taekwondo as a martial art? Yeah. Yeah, so it, it's like you can only fight someone with Taekwondo if that motherfucker knows it too. That's <laughs> fact. So when I when I first walked into the when I first walked into the kickboxing gym, all I had was Taekwondo. Yeah, you were I like, didn't I didn't know how to use my hands. Wait at all. for me to kick. Yeah. It was all I had no hands and so like every now and then I'd like hit a, hit hit someone with a head kick and they'd be like, Damn, I didn't see that coming but for the for the most part I just got boxed up like right. bad. Yeah. Bad, yeah. bad. bad. <laughs> <laughs> bro i got i got kick i got i got <laughs> i got hit in the top of the head so hard the reverberation like knocked my mouthpiece piece out i got knocked out by a spinning back fist like damn was, uh, bro my nose i don't know if you can see this but like my nose has been so fucked up that i can push it like oh shit all oh. the way into my fucking into oh my wow fucking head. i got a fake tooth <laughs> screwed in Ugh. it's a uh, yeah but I had a I had a really good coach like back to the Taekwondo thing. I had a really good Muay Thai coach who came from a Taekwondo background. And so he helped me like combine the two styles and after a while I was like I could box, I could throw the knees, but I also had like the Taekwondo like the head kicks and right. stuff like that. So do you, do you think to this day you could still kick somebody in the face? I would have to like stretch for like <laughs> 10 minutes. Bro, I wouldn't fight you, bro. If if I was like, let's fight and you start stretching, bro. Fuck <laughs> that. I'm walking the other fucking way, bro. Bro, that's hilarious. Bro, fuck yeah, that. I think, I think we got to get a video of bro, you if, kicking uh, anything. I'm fucking... Bro. Hey, let's uh, put the yeah. bottle. Let's put the bottle on your head. Uh, no, we need Tony's you to just, shorter, bro. We need you to just knock <laughs> him out one kick. <laughs> no, bro. Yeah. I think Tony's taking that one. I, I was really into that shit. Like, I thought. What that shoe was, size you have? A uh, ten. I won't get hit with a ten, bro. You <laughs> fucked up, bro. That's a that's a whole foot to the face. It's not a good feeling. No, bro. But yeah, like I wanted that to be my life for a while when I was doing it. Like and, martial uh, arts. Yeah, I thought I was gonna be like a fighter, and like, I don't know why I thought that at the time, because like now looking at myself being like really bro you're gonna be a pro athlete <laughs> well the thing about fighting is it's all about weight classes yeah, so that's yeah true. you could have fucked up somebody in your I weight was, class i was bro. tall for my weight class so like i could i could you keep my reach, bro. And just stick the jab yeah yeah but after i got my tooth knocked out i just wasn't like the same <laughs> yeah that would fuck uh, me every up time too. i got punched in the face i was like went to the mirror and like pulled out my mouth guard and made sure it was still there like oh, bro. what what age was that when you knocked you got your tooth knocked out. Uh, I was 20. Oh, shit. 20, yeah. When did you go, mm, maybe I don't want to get hit in the face anymore? Probably like, the tooth, huh? Oh, yeah, huh? Um, so, 22. Because that shit hurt, bro. What? I gave up. Were you wearing that helmet thing? No, no. <laughs> that, 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 that helmet, pussy, that helmet thing makes it worse, actually. Really? Yeah, because your head is way bigger, and you can't, you Move. know, you don't have any peripheral vision. And, like, it doesn't stop your brain from, like, rattling around in your skull. Right. So, it's, it's pointless, but... uh. 
Yeah, I, I basically was just doing some warm up drills and ate a kick to the face and got knocked out and woke up and You're didn't have a tooth anymore. Yeah. I didn't have a tooth for eight months. Had and like the retainer that you can pop yeah. out. It's a good oh. party trick. Just pop, <laughs> pop right. it out. <laughs> That's fucking awesome. You ever pull awesome. it out yeah. and shotgun a beer with it? I never did Yo, that. If I, bro, I would, bro. <laughs> Middle of that the That would bar. be my party trick. <laughs> bro. That's honestly kind of like I have PTSD about my teeth now. Like I don't want to put anything. Oh yeah, I feel that. Even with the mic, like I feel like sometimes I have mic control issues because I don't want to hold it as that close, close to my face yeah. as I should. Or I'll step on the cord and pull on it and then like put my foot up and almost hit myself bro. in the face. Get a little bit of PTSD. Yeah, well, I, bro. I, I wonder if people see that I, too. Like the oh audience. yeah, probably. I mean, like yeah. I would I wouldn't say like they're going. Damn, this guy's been hit in the mouth before. <laughs> you know what I mean? I don't think they're thinking that. But it's just those little awkward things on stage like that when we're trying to keep everything under control. I wonder if people are in tune with that or not. Has there ever been a time on stage where like you've almost had to like walk out? Like you just. Not so much that it like pissed you off or anything, just like something just was off. You're feeling uncomfortable. Bro, this is actually this is the yeah this is the perfect question for this. So I was doing a show, um, and my girlfriend is up on stage with me, just kind of like chilling off to the side. This lady. This yeah, lady. yeah, my girl. Shout out Angel. Shout out Heaven Sent Clothing. Hell yeah! Shout uh, out Heaven Sent Clothing. Yeah, yeah, we got the trucker on right now. That's filthy. Uh, yeah. yeah, check it out. It's uh, it's Heaven Sent with a with a four for an A. That's uh, filthy. How, much, how much for the hat? 35. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Make sure y'all tap into Heaven Sent. Yeah. Yes, sir. Hell yeah. But uh, yeah, so um, I had been drinking a lot that night and uh, I was up there. Uh, just I was DJing for, for Fiddy actually. And then I, uh, I just got this urge. To, like I knew I had to puke. So I run off the stage and I go into the bathroom and I, I puke two or three times put myself together and go back on stage and when i get up there uh angel is like yo this dude just like put his hand on my back as he walked by like the show is still going on after that song cuts i'm like yo this find me this fucking guy <laughs> this is what he looks like bring him to me who the fuck is this dude <laughs> yeah we had a couple words after the show yeah. but uh, that's uh, fucking yeah. good <laughs> so uh, yeah that's 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 probably like the weirdest what do, you, what do you think it was though was it just nerves or what do you think made the throw up happen oh it's just booze it's it just booze just getting too comfortable with performing and not taking it as seriously as i should and right. kind of having too much fun beforehand like sometimes you forget that it's a job and you got to take it seriously and like, yeah like people paid to see it yeah so gotta it's, give them a good show i had just, an era where i'd do that on the show i'd just get way too drunk and then yeah. i'd go to watch it when it came out and i'm like bro like i'm just yeah, I gotta, I gotta <laughs> knock it down a notch. Bro, there was one I mean, time Tony fell out the fucking chair. He yeah, was just bro. sitting there like this. I, I got the hiccups and, then, and I was sitting here like this, and then I sneeze and the whole fucking chair oh, comes no. up. It fucking, was fucking good. I think it's episode forty-three. Check it out. It was funny. <laughs> We're like fucking three or thirty minutes in, and I'm looking at him, asking him a question. He's sitting there like that, and I'm like. So we're done? We're, we're, we're just not... We're, we're finished? And then he goes, you and falls out of his fucking chair, and I just start dying. He was laughing. trying to wrap up the That's show. I was like, just Perfect wait till ending. my hiccups go away. We're going to be all right. <laughs> Tell you what, once I fell out the chair, they was gone. Yeah. <laughs> scared him. I mean, it's tough because you're, you're in a party environment, but you're still there to do a job. Right. Yeah, it's easy to get things twisted like that. I can what, see that for sure. Yeah. What's something that you feel is a must on your writer? Like, as what? a writer? No, no, no. I mean, like... I guess I've heard this term like the writers like what the venue has yeah, to have. Yeah, like the for sandwiches you. and shit. Yeah, like, that. like what what would be a um, weird thing on your writer where like it has to be there every show when you pull up. <laughs> Honestly, I've never been in a position where they were like, like we're gonna bring you whatever you want. Usually, it's like we put some beers in the fridge for you. <laughs> but I mean, we're talking though when you do when I do yeah make when you it. are there on that level. What what's on the writer? Oh man. Oh man! I'm putting clean socks. Wait, just to, well, just to clarify, a writer is like the shit they bring you backstage, like they provide and for the you. The shit that they just have in the green room when you pop up. Okay, so like okay. a bag of weed, fucking, you know, what table I mean? full of snacks, yeah. type shit. Okay. Yeah, yeah. weed for sure. I mean, definitely some other substances. Yes. But, uh, yeah. Fresh, Fresh puff yeah, bar. Just <laughs> yeah, all that. I need all the elf bars. Yes, for sure. <laughs> I feel you. Yeah, I feel you. I think I would have clean socks, bro, and I would have. Um, uh, fruit punch Kool Aid. What's gonna happen to your socks? What do you need, bro? You ain't never seen Forrest Gump, bro. He said, "Protect your feet." So I'm protecting the feet, bro. But you already got socks on. Yeah, what, what are gonna ha- what are gonna happen to those ones? Maybe, Maybe I'll pull up without socks. Let the dogs out and shit. 
Honestly, I feel yeah. like I feel like a new man when I put on like a fresh pair of socks. When you put on a fresh pair of socks, yeah. bro, like I'm talking straight out the package, bro. <laughs> At least a day, but these feet. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, be, you might be onto something with you, that. You get what yeah. I'm saying? Some fresh socks, bro. You feel like a new man up there on a the stage, bro. <laughs> yeah, and, you know and, what? Changing them right before you go on stage. Because if you go on there and yeah. you do do a no-shoe show, bro, you don't want crusty bottoms. You know what I'm saying? You don't want your bottom socks all fucked up. I didn't know that no-shoes shows were things, but... Uh, bro, you, you ain't know, never seen that? <laughs> you know no. when you're on stage bro. and you want to kind of slide across? <laughs> <laughs> no, bro. Some people really... Yeah, be, I've seen it. Yes, bro. I've seen it where they're just out there in their socks. Because, I mean, you get a better... You get a feel of the floor, the vibration, the fucking energy. Man, I'm yeah. learning so much right now. You know I'm have to. I'm going to have to but take that out. if up. you're really pro, you'll take off the socks. You'll let the dogs out. Bro. <laughs> I don't know if they're ready state. for that. <laughs> yeah, fuck it. Boom. Just stick. I, you... I don't know if the world's ready for that, man. Bro. Uh... Start a Patreon <laughs> <laughs> or an OnlyFans and just let them dogs out. You know what I'm saying? There we Make go. sure y'all tap into our Patreon. There we go. go tap into the Patreon. But no, man. Like I'm a big believer in free the dogs. Let them out. Let them breathe. You know what and I mean? I've always said... Athlete's feet is no joke. That's a, that's a that's... one-way ticket to hell. Oh, you said that. Yeah, I always say that. That's great. Yeah, well, just keep, that. Keeping the dogs out, toes fucking bro, you, I'm going to give you some information about all this right, fucker right. right now, bro. This motherfucker, bro, could kill a rat with his fucking talons that he's got on his fucking okay, toes Here's, right here's, now, here's an issue with that. I'm I got. saying he's like a fucking hawk, buddy. Here's he an could, issue. like, swoop down and, like, no. keep flying, My, my bro. thing is, every time <laughs> that I cut my toenails, I have to buy a new toenail clipper because no. I lose the shit. This was his logic. He said, everywhere I've gone, they haven't had toenail clippers. Because That's I mean, what the people. fuck he said, bro. I said, why don't you buy some? Maybe keep them in your bathroom. He goes, what? Why would I do that? I was like, so you're not walking around with fucking back lady toenails. I'm home like two days of the week. It, yeah, yeah, one of them I, days, bro, you get... Oh, yeah, I guess it's not something you got to do every day. <laughs> so, <that laughs> I, mean, I hope not. Fuck, no. I really hope Dude, not. Like, it's scary, bro. Like, bro. Feet, feet are scary, bro. Oh, no. Just in general. I used to, bro, I could never be a guy that, like, licks a toe. Oh, not no. even for a joke, bro. <laughs> no, that's not my thing. Like, oh, feet no. in the face, bro, is not my forte. No. I do not like it. Nah. Uh-uh. Honestly, we should just not have feet. Bro, <laughs> if we could walk on ankles, bro, I yeah. am fucking for it. I'm saying. You know what I mean? Because, like, saying. how hard? I mean, we'd learn. We'd adapt. Yeah. My nub yeah. would be, like, calloused up. So yeah. I could like <laughs> I probably wouldn't wear shoes at that point, you know. I I'd probably. Thought, I mean, what would shoes even be at that point, you know? <laughs> It'd be like, do you remember when the uh, yeah, in horseshoes. school when you? Oh yeah, horseshoes. Or in school <laughs> when you learned that Chinese people way back in the day used to I bind their fucking coming. feet. I knew that, bro. So my uh, my dad was really into like Chinese um, culture and antiques and that kind of stuff, and he would go to China and bring back all this random shit. And one day I'm like digging through this shit, and I see this random plastic bag. And it's full of those fucking shoes that are like this big, the feet bound shoes. And I'm like, have you seen the feet that go in there? Yes, what they look bro. Like? I'm thinking, have that's actual- what Tony's toenails look like. Oh, each God. one of them individually. <laughs> I don't even believe it, bro. Oh, <laughs> in oh there, God. bro. It's yeah, gross. I'm like, have have the little feet been in these ones? Because like, we can't own this. We can't no, this bro. In the house. And bro. then like, there you knew you know they are not any track stars. You know what I'm saying? Could, <laughs> like, imagine the balance. You know, I'd rather get kicked in the head by that foot, though. <laughs> yeah, I'll tell you what, I tell you, I yeah, smell I'm it. I don't know. It might, it might be kind of like a fist in a shoe. You know, <laughs> <laughs> uh, the bro. future of combat sports if we didn't have feet, bro. Could you imagine if we didn't? If like, if we made a <laughs> league of like UFC fighters where they couldn't have shins and feet. So they just were on their knees, fucking coming at each bro. other, bro. Just headbutting. There, yeah, bro. there's a dude. Chicken who... nugget wrestling. Oh God! <laughs> That's what we would call it. That would be the name. Trademark. Yeah, there we go. Let's. I think uh, we just. Who's going first? Who's who's lopping bro, them off first? I have a thing, so definitely we're gonna have to pass on that one. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I kind of got a thing too. I like having. Tony, you ain't got no thing. I was super busy that day. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. That's the problem. That's funny you say uh, that. I think I'm working overtime. Well, it looks like Arian is getting it done for four dollars on the Patreon. <laughs> I don't, I don't remember what, but you're doing something. <laughs> 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 we're cutting off his shins. That's what we're doing. Let yeah. me ask you this, bro. If yeah, I yeah. did cut off my shin from the knee down, where would I feel the pain? Um, would I feel it in the top of the nub or would I? 
Like while while it's happening. I don't know. Like after it's gone. You might get that phantom limb. That's shit. what the fuck I was thinking, that? right? Yeah. You've heard of that? Yeah, I have. <laughs> oh. I have. That's super weird. Super fucking freaky. Yeah, it's like uh, it feels like it's still there and it hurts, right? That's right. what it is. Yeah. 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 Feels like you you still have it. In a shark attack, which limb would you want to lose if like you had to lose one? I mean, if like, like you had to, it's like going. what counts as a limb? Like the oh. foot count? Yeah, like a foot. A but foot? it's probably got to take like a foot of your foot, like. You know what I'm saying? Like, you're going mid chin. Yeah. Uh, you know what I'm saying? I'm saying left arm. Uh, I was thinking, like, he could take a chunk out of my shoulder. Shit. Oh, yeah. yeah. Thanks, thanks. I'm going, yeah, I got to go, I got to go foot. Especially Honestly, but there's it. too many drippy items for the feet. That's my whole thing. I don't want to just walk around you with know one the, Balenciaga. The drip, still got to buy both. The drippy you know what I mean? I mean, I think prosthetics are, you're probably good by now. Oh, God, bro. Like, with the, with the rate we're going, though. Yeah. I, I, I'm gonna be like half cyborg here pretty Bro, soon. Well, you know the uh, the those runners who don't have legs, they actually have faster times. Like the little hook things. Yeah, they have yeah. faster times than people who who do have legs. Oh yeah. those things like spring them forward. Oh, yeah, that's, that's what like I'm saying. Spring, Fuck Balenciagas, that's the drip. That, that <laughs> shark can take both my legs. I'm <laughs> bouncing around like crazy. Yeah, <laughs> they fucking back and forth maybe everywhere I'm at. Something to be said that's for subway. <laughs> Bro, yeah. that's fucking awesome, bro. So, hey, before we get out of here, I got a couple of questions I'd like to ask you. Yeah. One, what do you feel has been the biggest struggle that you have overcame in the last year? Oh, man. Because a lot of people go through shit, so that's why I like <laughs> to ask about struggles, you know. More people need to know that everyone goes through some shit and that if you're not alone, motherfucker, ask somebody for help, you know. Do what you got to do. Yeah, man. I mean, I, I went... Um, it was it was about September or August, and uh, I was going through through some pretty heavy mental shit. Um, you could call it anxiety and depression. I th- it was it was a little more extreme than that, but I'll just call it that. And uh, I ended up going, ended up you know dropping out of work for a little bit, going to like an inpatient mental health program or outpatient. So I went. It was kind of like school. I went there every day and like learn techniques or whatever. And it. Um, <laughs> It was a group thing. I was there with people who had like ideations and um, attempts and all this kind of thing. And and so it was really heavy um, and it was a really low point in my life. But there's also this sense like sense of accomplishment when you do complete one of those programs. Right. And it it can be corny in a way, you know, like they're giving you little handouts about like, oh, when you feel sad, like do this. But um it helps I i'm mean, a firm believer in the corny shit because yeah they wouldn't say it bro so much for it to be corny if it didn't fucking work yeah. that's my whole thing yeah it's like you think it's corny bro but it's been working it's, not, it's gotta right. work for somebody it's at got least. To. yeah yeah i i feel <clears throat> that like um these things exist for a reason and maybe right now mental health is a little more archaic than it could be but it's all we have you mm-hmm. know what i'm saying so um yeah just trying to get over the mental shit and i think that's pretty common for all artists like in order to be a good artist i think you got to be a little bit crazy i can't think of a single artist that i know that doesn't have some pretty extreme emotions so right yeah yeah it's like i think just people should just take that seriously what is something that you are doing actively today to to help your mental health after that experience man um i mean honestly probably not as much as much as i should like if i'm being honest it's easy to kind of slide back into the old habits and then six to eight months later you kind of have a kind of like why am i feel like i'm not going somewhere yeah yeah Yeah, i get that 100 percent. yeah but i think just writing music you know like that's therapy in a way or even more so than therapy is just like that sense of accomplishment and doing something with your time um yeah, I mean, you just gotta, trying to be productive, feel productive. Yeah, you got to create your own reason for being around, and this is what I picked. So that's, that's what I do. Yeah. And then the last question before we get out of here is: What is one movie that has stuck with you and made you like kind of just who you feel like you are? Oh man, that's a tough one. When you asked Jake that, I was like, "Fuck!" I hope they don't ask me. It's my favorite <laughs> question. I love movies, man. I'm a movie guy man, for sure. Let's I'm gonna be here. in them, bro. I'm gonna own them, make them, do it all. Man, I'm trying to think of something good. Like I just got, I just got more corny shit. But bro, um, say it, bro. I don't give a fuck. The Karate Kid, number one, bro, with with Daniel Larusso, like Ralph that, Macchio, though, bro, with your karate. 
Mm, bro. I love that. I love that. Bro, it's a, bro that the, the originals too. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's not the one I grew up I'm on. About. But I do like them. Just yeah. not as much as Jaden Smith. Yeah. Though, I, mean. I haven't even seen the new ones to be honest. It's pretty filthy. Yeah. I'll, I'll yeah. I, I fuck with it. So that that's the all time one. Is that what made you want to do karate? I had to have something. To yeah, do with it. it's just subliminally like yeah. in in every kid of that era's mind. He said he Fuck. kicked that fucker in the face. The crane kick, bro. Yes, bro. The crane kick. <laughs> That's just filthy. Hey, bro. Well, we appreciate you for coming. Yeah, thank on. you for having me. I appreciate it. One more time before we get out of here, go check out all the links in the description. Go check out Heaven Sent fucking merch. Go check out everything that you can for this clothing brand for these two artists. Sure. And have a great week, y'all. Make sure y'all drop four dollars on that motherfucking Patreon. Patreon. Hey. Cooking. <laughs>